Day-to-day -day life questions can include spending problems. So for example, just going down the shop and buying some items and understanding whether you have enough money in order to be able to buy those items. So a question like this where um, Adam is doing his grocery shopping, uh, he pays for £3.27 for two kilos of peppers and one and a half kilos of carrots. Carrots cost 90p per kilo. How much per kilo are the peppers? So this is quite a basic question. And it's all to do with making sure you can get the same, use the same amounts. So if you're working in pounds, keep it in pounds. If you're working in pence, keep it in pence. Otherwise, things are going to get tricky very quickly. So we know that um, Adam has bought one and a half kilos of carrots. So we know that one kilo is 90 pence for carrots. So half a kilo is 45p, half of 90p. So one and a half kilos, oh, see I've immediately gone into grams for some reason, one and a half kilos is 135p. Okay? Now because the rest of the problem we're dealing in pounds, we might want to turn the pence into pounds. So that's one pound thirty-five. Okay? So we've got three pound twenty-seven is being paid for the lot for both the peppers and the carrots. So if we do three pound twenty-seven, take away the one pound thirty-five, that should leave us with how much we've paid for the peppers alone. 7 take away 5 is 2, 2 take away 3 I can't do, so I borrow 1, 12 take away 3 is 9, 2 take away 1 is 1. So I've spent £1.92 on the peppers, and that's 2 kilos worth. So 2 kilos of peppers was £1.92, so 1 kilo would be half of that. Now you can either do that one in your head, or you can do short division. So 2's into 19, go 9 with 1 left over. 2's into 12, go 6. So we have 0.96 pounds or 96 pence. So peppers are 96 pence per kilo, while the carrots were 90p per kilo. So it's little money problems like this you could expect to find in a GCSE maths exam and they're very useful to be able to do because they are really a life skill.